Welcome to a new studio vlog guys, studio vlog 49 I think, um, I have mad hair uh, but what's new, I'm having my hair cut tomorrow, I'm really excited, I'm going to have a good couple of inches chopped off it and it's falling out loads so I want my hairdresser to help me but you're here for a studio vlog, not Lucy does hairdressing so I ended my last vlog and if you watch my last vlog you may, not, may or may not remember I ended it by saying I got this parcel just delivered, I think it's from printed.com, I think it's some new bits and bobs, I'm going to pop you somewhere that you can see me unbox it and let's do that first. Okay I think this is from printed, let's open it and find out. In here is the card for the collaboration that I'm doing with um, Cherry Tree Candle Co, which I think I mentioned in my last vlog, um, I'm saying it like I can't remember, I literally am editing that vlog now but I still can't remember, um, but if you haven't seen that we are doing, she's a candle company, Lisa runs a candle company and she is the one that makes these candles um, and I love her candles, this one's happy, this other one I've got amber and sweet orange, they they smell so good. We've known each other for a while now. We were in um, a business group together and I just love her candles. I actually know another Lisa who makes candles who I've definitely mentioned before, um, who runs a company called Alice Grace Candle Co. And Lisa's who I'm collaborating with is Cherry Tree Candle Co. So we are doing a collaboration for a thank you candle. Um, I can't get into this box, hang on. So she's doing a candle and I'm doing a card. I was halfway through designing a new card and I sort of said to her, can I have a look at the candle that you're doing so that I can see whether the, what I'm doing will will work for what you're doing and how, if the colours are going to look good or anything like that. So she sent me a picture and I was like, this is going to be perfect. So I'll put a picture on the screen of her candle and my card together, but I'm just unboxing the cards now. I have to get these to her, like wrap them up today because she is um, she's already got them on pre-sale and thankfully she makes the candles um, so I think to order or like a batch of them together once she's got a few orders so the turnaround time is a little bit slower um, so the customer knows that so ordered some more envelopes oh my gosh the card looks good the card looks good yeah awesome so they come flat like this um, Look at that, that looks so good. So I've got to pack some up for her. So I ordered obviously those. I also have a restock of my Wildflower Thank You So Much card because this one's a bestseller. So I have a restock of that and then I have, unfortunately a few of them have got stubbed at the corners but they're not for sale, they're just for what I give out to customers so it's fine. So I've got two designs of um, like little thank you cards and I got them done on quite a thick card because I want people to be able to keep them. The first one says, thank you for your part in my story. And I'm, just, I'm really happy with this one. I just love that so much. Look at that. And then on the back it's got, thank you so much for your support. And then tag Leaf Lane Studio in your photos. And it's got a space for me to write a little message. Because I always like to write little messages to my customers. So that's that one. I've got 100 of those, these are just on recycled uncoated card so that the ink comes out nice and bright and it just looks lovely. And then this one, this has come out so nice. This one says, the world is full of kind people and you are one of them. And it looks like this. And again, I've got a hundred of these and the back is exactly the same, only it's different colors and it's also got a little bird on to go with the pattern on the front. Um, and that goes with its same design family as the card I've got for Lisa um, and all of the new stock that I've got coming is all Enchanted Garden so so happy with that. Right now I need to tell Lisa that this has all arrived because she's waiting for this so I'm going to just send her a message.
I am so tired, guys. I'm working my way through my to-do list. I'm getting there. I'm just about to pack up these cards ready to go back on sale and go to the wholesale order and stuff. I um, I look knackered. I've been picking up a dry patch of my skin as well. I'm such a picker, honestly. Does anyone else do this? Um, I do it subconsciously as well, so... If you can hear fizzing, I'm just manufacturing a tablet because I've got a headache. I've got a train as well, it's half a street. I don't have to train, but I want to train. Training makes me feel better, even if I do a light training session. What I need to get done is, when I ordered my pencils for Sweary Cats, I also ordered a stamp for Sweary Cats, because you guys might know if you've ordered a notebook, um, a notepad from me with Leafling Studio, I have a stamp that I put on the back, which is the logo. Um, and I wanted to do the same for Sweary Cats, but the design I sent over was too complicated, so I need to simplify that because it's kind of urgent that I get a stamp. I'm also waiting on hearing back from a lady who might want some customised pen- I can't even speak- customised pencils. She's getting some Sweary Cats merch for an event she's doing and I've just sent her an email and said you don't have to have the pairs of what I've got there. If you want something customised I can just order them for you, it's not a problem. Obviously I can't really get into doing that for everybody but I just- I just love what she's doing, what her, like her business ethics and what she's about and stuff so um, before I put a stamp order in, because I'm getting it from the same place, I'll wait to hear from her. So, but I do just want to get these cards packed because Gizmo has decided today, she's on the corner of the bed over there, she's decided today of all day she's going to sleep in here. She's been sleeping in Joe's office for weeks basically, um, not really coming in here because it's quite light and she in there it's quite dark because he has his blind down so he can see his computer screen and she loves it in there. The day that the bed looks like this, and there's stuff everywhere, like new bits and bobs everywhere, it's the day she decides to come in here. So I need to get everything that's new packed, so it's not, like, it can't be sat on by a cat. In other news, um, I had an email from the supplier of the new company that I'm using for all my notebooks, notepads and stuff, and they've um, dispatched everything I've ordered, so that's like 450, 470 pounds worth of stock that should be arriving tomorrow. I'm really excited. I'm out tomorrow at the hairdressers at like quarter to three so it'll probably come then but um joe's here so that's fine but i yeah i'm having all of that stuff delivered i'm as normal very nervous but you guys would have seen me unbox the, the sorry cats pads and the wildflower notebooks came from that company and they were like a test run the sorry cats pads are only 80 gsm paper i did that purposely so the new stuff that's coming is all leaf lane studio and it's 120 gsm so back to that normal luxury thickness that i sell through leaf lane studio all arriving tomorrow so I'll have a restock of the wildflower planner pads which I sold the last one of yesterday the timing of the universe um, I have a restock of my cottage garden 200 page notebook and then new in stock and I haven't decided on a launch date for it yet I'll do an Instagram live for it as well new in stock is my enchanted garden stuff that's on the wall here so the A5 planner pad the to-do list and a notebook as well oh my god it literally cost me an arm and a leg so when I open that box it's going to be like almost 500 pounds worth of my money sitting in front of me. So I have to wait and I have to decide, I just put on Instagram about finding out when people might wanna have it launched. I'm thinking the end of July, cause it's payday, um, but I'll see what people say on the poll. But for now, I'm gonna put something on, put my earphones on, put something on to listen to on the iPad whilst I just pack up these thank you cards and try not to fall asleep, take my headache tablet. Then I've got to train legs and then sit and draw on the iPad later. I'm excited for tomorrow. Get my hair cut, England are playing tomorrow. Can't wait, I do love a good football game. It is now Wednesday afternoon. Actually almost half past five. <laughs> um, I just got home from Penzance, I went to have my hair trimmed. I've had about inch and a half chopped off and a few tiny like thin texturized layers put in which I'm really happy about. Um, so before I went to the hairdressers I had a big delivery. I couldn't vlog it, I didn't have time because I had to get out the door but I've had, I mean this water bottle's in the way, all of this stuff delivered and I'm dying to show you it so I'm gonna show you everything um, and then I'm going to, well actually tomorrow I'm probably gonna have to stamp it all because I have to do my leaf studio stamp on everything. Um, let me show you that and we'll come back to this conversation because I want to talk to you about sweary cats as well. Look at all this. This is mental. 
absolutely mental. Oh, my battery's gonna die. I'm gonna have to charge you before I talk you through this. Right guys, so I've, since I had to charge my battery, I've now started laying out a wholesale order. So we'll work around it. I have um, got cat biscuits and sexy trousers. Um, I've got a restock of my cottage garden notebook in, which is looking fab. Really, really happy with how these have turned out with this company. We'll get onto the new stuff in a minute. Let me just move these. I'm sending these bits and bobs and some of this new stuff over to a beautiful company called Forest & Cove. I will link them below. I'm doing wholesale with them. So that's really exciting. Um, they're getting some of this stuff too. So I've got the restock of the Wildflower Planner Pads as well, which um, are just really, really popular. They're really awesome for just daily planning or even weekly planning. Although it says today is a good day, it can say in your head today, it's a good week. <laughs> this week is a good week. You can put your little affirmation at the top. Um, I might do a little blog post on affirmations because some people say, to me, well, "What sort of affirmations do you do you write?" And obviously, you can you can look them up on the internet. Any ones that sort of mean something to you. But also, um, what I tend to do is literally just go with what's in my head that day. So it might be that oh, today I'm going to do the best I can, or today I'm gonna honor how my body feels, or today I'm gonna be kind to myself, or anything like that. It doesn't have to be massive, just whatever you're feeling in that moment. So then you've got your priorities and to-dos, and I've highlighted the top three, because I honestly think we can't get through that many in a day, so like the top few. And then appointments, calls, emails, leave it tomorrow, notes, and then great things that happened today. So that's a really popular one. Let me move these out of the way. And then, we're on to some new stuff. So this is all, um, this is all new, completely new to the Enchanted Garden Collection. So the Enchanted Garden Collection at the moment consists of, sorry, I'm not doing very good camera work here, um, consists of, this is a brand new card um, that I'm featuring with a collaboration with Cherry Tree Candle Co. Um, but I've now released this as well. And so the Enchanted Garden Collection is currently this card, this Happy Anniversary one, and this um, You're the Best one. So now I've added stationery to the mix, and we've got this planner pad, which is kind of similar in idea to the other one I've just showed you. So it says getting things done, an affirmation at the top and date, and then to-do list with some top priorities there, notes for later, and then activity tracker, so you can put in there training or water drinking or whatever you want, stretching, whatever you want, you put in there. And then you can just use that over a week if you want to, whatever suits you really. So I thought because this could be used over a week um, because of the activity tracker, that it would be really good to pair with a general to-do list just in case. Um, and these are the to-do lists here. Let's do this. I think it looks really, really cool. I've got two stuck together here. Um, these are all my luxury paper, so 120 GSM, super thick, no bleed through paper, really beautifully thick. Um, and you get 50 sheets per pad, as you do with all of my planning pads and notebooks and set and note pads. All of my notebooks, you get 200 writable pages, so 100 individual sheets, 200 writable pages. Um, and then this is the notebook that goes with that collection. So it just says notes on the front, keep it simple. On the back of all my notebooks, it's just got my website at the bottom, but otherwise the pattern is is there. Um, but it's just so bright and it's just so vibrant. I love this pattern. I'm totally in love with this, this notebook. So yeah, so I'm going to continue sorting out my wholesale order. The football starts in half an hour. Um, it's England, Belgium tonight. So obviously by the time you guys see this, we'll know what's what, but um, fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, I need to, the only thing I need to do for my wholesale order is they want things packaged very simply. So just like this, I use these um, compostable cello bags. So I need to just repackage these. So I'm going to take the sticker off really, um, I'm going to take this out the bag really carefully and put it in a different bag. And then I'll reuse this when I get these reprinted for my own shop and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly repackage those. She also wants, now I think about it, I've just got to get these out of here. If I can find them. She wants one, two, three, four, five of these ones. How many is that? That's four. Five. And these also need to be repackaged because they um, have that sticker on there, which is old 
an old leaf and studio sticker now anyway so and these are also not compostable bags these are old bags so I just need to old bags <laughs> um insert obvious jokes there so yeah I'm just gonna repackage those before the football starts and then tomorrow I need to use my leaf and studio stamp on all of the the tear off planners because I stamp the underside of all of those with my leaf and studio stamp which is if you haven't seen it is basically my logo um, with one thing across the top and leaf and studio I think it's got my website underneath it I can't actually remember now to be honest there you go that's my stamp and also whilst we're on the subject of stamps I ordered this today for Sweary Cats um, to stamp the back of all of the Sweary Cats to-do lists okay, I want to do with the to-do lists what I do with with um, leaf and studio and just brand the back of them um, so yeah, I ordered that today, so that's going to be a little tiny, I think four and a half by four and a half centimetre circle. So I'm excited to get that, I just ordered that from Awesome Merchandise and that should be with us in a couple of days. The last time I picked up my camera was last Wednesday. Oh my god, I look so tired. I went for a walk this morning and my eyes just I don't really suffer massively of hay fever, but my eyes just like almost burst open. They were just running, it was just running down my face. Um I had a busy morning so far, it's only eleven o'clock, but I got up at six, um, did some journaling and stuff, went for a little walk, had to go to the post box, which reminds me I had to mark something as sent. There we go. Right, so the last thing before the sculpture garden thing, the last thing I spoke about on here to do with work was um, I, had, I was boxing up a wholesale order. That's now gone off. That should be arriving at Forest and Cove in Romsey today, so I should hopefully hear from them later. Today or tomorrow, I think. Um, all in all, I sent them about £300 worth of stock, maybe 280 in terms of retail value for me. So I did insure it and I did make sure that all of that was... Oh, top notch, it cost me about £37 to post it, but you know, it's worth it because the stock value is so high. On Monday this week, I went for a walk with Peter from Nourishing Soulfully and Laura from um, Ebflow and Grow. Laura is the brilliant brain behind the new business membership that I'm part of called Blossom, which I love. Um, she only launched it a little while ago, so it's early, early days for that, but I'm loving it. Right now is, as always, a shit show in here. I mean, there's just, there's stuff everywhere. It's impossible for me to keep this room tidy. Um, I tried to do some photography yesterday, hence this setup here. Um, I, I don't know what's happened with me in product photography. It's just not, it's not a thing that I am, um, I enjoy, 
I would enjoy it if I took good photos. <laughs> the only thing I did manage to do though um, is I did a, um, a tut I watched a tu tutorial on YouTube because I was learning about what the Christmas gift guides want to see in terms of images and a lot of them want cut out images and the woman on the on a recent little talk that I watched said you have to have them done professionally don't try and do it yourself and I was like I can't I just can't afford it I'm gonna have to try and do it myself so I'm gonna show you the result of that so this is actually my photo that I took yesterday of my new things and what I managed to do thanks to the tutorial I watched is to cut them out and also keep the shadow on a different layer so um, it's a really clever thing. I guess most of you, if you know Photoshop, will be like, yeah, of course, it's really easy. But basically, the shadow looks like that, so you keep different layers and you do different things to make it work. Um, but what I also did, if I don't want, if I want a transparent background, obviously I can't then keep the shadow layer because it's still white. So I then added a drop shadow, which is easily done on Photoshop. I do it all the time anyway, and that just looks like that. So yeah, I can use the actual shadow which is the natural one, that one there, or I can use the drop shadow, which is brilliant. So I'm really, really, really pleased with how I managed to do that, which means that if I'm applying to gift guides, they can have that on a transparent background within the gift guide or within the magazine. So that's something I was really pleased about. So now at least what I tend to f struggle with with um, product photography is the colour around it, like a greeny cast on things or whatever, but doing it that way I can definitely do it, which is helpful. And then I'll definitely be sort of trying to get somebody to do my products from now on. Well, as of next year, probably not this year, um, just from a financial point of view. But today I've got a couple of client things to do. I'm doing a little Swery Cats wholesale order actually, which Swery Cats hasn't even launched yet. But the lovely Pippa Parfait, who is a business coach, who has quite a sweary sort of brand, is interested in getting some stuff from us. So I'm just slightly changing one of the cards on Sweary Cats to see if she likes that. She's asked me to add some different wording at the bottom. So then printed where I get my cards, I've got a little discount. And I'm going to offer those cards to her on wholesale um, because she wants probably quite a lot. And then also some sweary pencils and she probably wants almost the amount we have so then if I can get her to pay for that up front then I will immediately be able to order some more from awesome merch which is awesome and they're obviously awesome merch and also some of the sweary cats pads so I'm just about to put together an email for her so that she can see pricing and things like that um and then I've got a whole load of other things I need to get on with my calendar oh I'm finding it really difficult to decide what to do because with my calendar, my Christmas calendar, obviously when I advertise it I'm going to show the pieces that are in it but I don't want to overly show too much because some people, like for me, Joe got me a paper chase one last Christmas I didn't go on and look at what was in it because I just didn't want to know, I just wanted it to be a surprise but I'm going to show you guys some bits so coming up in two seconds is going to be one of the things, one of the sort of smaller, there's going to be some of like the luxury stationery items I always sell like a planner and a, note, a notebook and things but I'm also going to include this, I'm going to turn you around again and show you this. And so I want to keep the theme kind of, you know, botanical as always with me but this is going to be potentially, um, unless I change my mind, it's going to be a 10 by 10 tear off notepad and it's obviously I'm not going to do it on the highest quality paper ever because it's quite disposable um, in that you only use it for one day but today's big tasks the challenging one so we all have that kind of task that people kind of call eat the frog task or you know the one that you don't want to do but it would make you feel better if you did it so the challenging one and then it would also be great to do so the next in line of that really and then it's something nice I can do next and then PS you're doing great um, so I really want to get this printed up I found a company that potentially could do this for me in the UK, so I'm going to have a look at that in a minute, but first of all I'm going to send an email to my Sweary Cats client first, and then I'll come back to this, and then I want to try and make patterns with my new leaves that I've painted. I am editing my studio vlog right now, and I realise I haven't done an outro, so I'm doing one now, even though I've started recording the new vlog, so thank you so much for watching, guys. The next one is going to be a bit of a coast path walk, because I've already done it, um, and it's going to be some new stuff arriving, I think, and some other things going on that I'm designing, so yeah, hopefully that'll be in the new vlog. But thanks for watching, and please do hit the subscribe button and the like button, all the good stuff to see everything come up in your notifications for YouTube really helps me out. We will get this channel to a thousand subscribers. That's the dream.
help me do it. I'd love you forever. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.